Dang, the breeze is freaking strong. Damn, dude, this thing just keeps going straight forever. Holy fuck, look. You see how far that is? My god. In today's video, we will be exploring a huge 1950s era abandoned tungsten mine. This mine was massive, it has 5 different levels with thousands of feet of workings and hundreds of feet of ladders that we'll get into in this video. The mine began operations in the early 1900s with tungsten as the primary commodity. Now off in the distance there, you can see what looks to be a wooden crane, but this is actually a portable head frame. These mobile head frames have wheels with tires so they can easily be moved from shaft to shaft bringing up carts or buckets of ore from below surface. This was pretty neat, there aren't many of these still out there in the wild so this was extremely cool to find. Anyway, let's get our helmets and flashlights on, it's time to get underground. Um, this is a huge sorting bin, so this is a huge operation here. So that's the, uh, it's kind of an ore bin. I haven't been up there yet, but it looks like an ore bin, and it would have fed to this other ore bin, which would have loaded this chute, and it looks like this might have been waste. Crap it, ore chute right here. And we're in. What is that? Come on, bottle. So we're in here about maybe 20 feet. And a uh, little stash of uh, drill bit heads here. That's fine. These are always fun to find. Oh, Alright, so we're in the first big stope here. Let's see if I can get my headlamp on down there. Uh, I think I can see rail down there. Uh, it looks like it's probably about 80 feet down. Uh, but this stope doesn't look too difficult if we had to climb down the stope, I think we could. So, we'll finish off exploring the rest of this level. So, continuing on into the stope. Um, dang, that goes high. Holy crap. I don't know, to that bright spot up there, it looks like, what do you think, probably 100 feet? Maybe 120. 120. Oh my God, wow, this is cool. There's not a single footprint in here. Is there anything there? No, I, I don't come. think so. Uh, the breeze is still pretty strong through here. Oh yeah, and that's where it's coming from. So it might just be breezy, just because this goes to the surface. But uh, there's some rope to the side there. All right, so we're coming back up on this stope here. So our game plan is uh, gonna be to try to get down there. So we just came from that little tiny hole up there, just came from and this there. rope was barely came long enough. The rope was literally just long enough. Super wide. Ooh, what is that? Oh, dude. Is that an old trammer? It's a flat car. Oh, wow. Yeah, we got a flat car, got the wheels. Oh, no, no, no. no oh, wheels. Yeah, it does have the wheels. Oh, that's good. All four wheels. Whoa, look at 
flat car. Used to transport like all the flat stuff, like the awesome. pipes. Is it still on wheels? Pipes yeah. Pipe? Yeah. Is it on the track? No. Uh, no. Think we could put it Dude. on the track? No. <laughs> no. Yeah, I wish we could throw this back on. If we really so wanted to, we could. just like ride it down. Yeah. That thing's probably like. 500 pounds. I think it's probably more than that. If we had a crane, yeah. If we had a crane, we could. I don't even know, maybe like 900? Why do you beat that pounds? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. Alright, let's keep a move on. Let's see what we got. Dang, the breeze is freaking strong. Damn, dude, this thing just keeps going straight forever. Holy fuck, look. You see how far that is? My god. Holy crap. Oh my god, there's another ladder here. Oh, there's another level right down there. Yeah, there's a ladder right here that goes down to it. Well, let's... There's also some electrical here. We've got a ladder that goes up. Oh yeah. So this, we definitely been walking way further than that other level. Yeah, definitely. Oh, it's weirdly warm up there compared to down here. Oh, this is cold. Feel that. Wow. Yeah, this is a drill. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, it's part of a drill. Yeah, I found a drill coming right. It's part of a drill. Wow. Like when we uh, were in Sonora, we found those solid drills. They shored oh up all the side God. here. All this is an open stope on top of us. We got a double orchard here, too. Holy crap. Wow, lots of manways. That doesn't look bad. No, dude, these ladders look amazing. They had so much ore coming through here that they had to make a little side off. Look at all the spare rail and pipes and craziness. Look at the changing coloration here. There's an ore car tub there. Two. Is that two? Two? No, that's just one. Oh, it's just a really long one. Holy shit! This thing. That is a huge ore car. Oh, dude, I thought it was two because it's so long. Where's the wheels? Dang. Yeah, it might have been. Wow. Oh, my God. This must be insane. So, here's the end of the line. Is that an organ right there? What? Ladder, massive ore shoots, workshop, all kinds of stuff. Is there a manway on this one? Hey, Nick, it was this. Oh my god. The ladder's on the side. 
Oh my gosh, and the air is so strong coming out of here. This main haulage tunnel must have went in close to a mile. I have nearly 45 minutes worth of footage before we even reached the end. Now that we've made it to the face of this tunnel, our only option is to start climbing some ladders. Uh, it's kind of hard for me to film and climb at the same time. I don't have my GoPro on me, unfortunately, so um, I'll just catch you guys up there. So there's the manway we just climbed. We climbed probably about 200 feet, I would say. And uh, we got a pleasant surprise here. We got a nice big, huge, actually, rolling ore car. And yeah, it still rolls. It's extremely heavy. And the drift continues on back this way. It also continues on back that way as well. But, yeah. Uh, this manway keeps going up too. We don't know how far this manway goes. But or after we explore this level, we're probably gonna finish this ladder, see what's at the top. Maybe there's another ore car. Maybe we finish this level, there could be more on this level alone. Got a split in the track here, too. Keeps going off that way. Open the door. Open the door. This looks like we have a fuse cutting station here. And uh, I just got word to open the door. Open the door. I mean, so. Um, I was told to be careful. It says Atlas on that on that stick here. I don't know if you can see it. But on the middle stick there, it actually says Atlas. But yeah, this is a little dynamite locker here. You can see the fuse cords on the side here. Um, I'll close this very carefully. Uh, ooh. This is all false floor right here. Um, I can't really tell how steep that goes. Oh, looks like it ends here. Yeah, keeps, going. keeps going? Track ends here. Oh wow, got some dynamite boxes here. Or sample box. Oh, there's now there's more track again though. Yeah, That's weird. That's kind of weird to put and here's the first face. There's a lot of deck cord in this pile, so I'll just be careful. Yeah. That's it. Uh, oh wow, it's rolling really easily right now. Yeah, when I first find the trees, I grease it up again. Maybe we could Is this close? That's what I thought. 
Yeah, oh yeah, because uh, maybe we can actually lift this up. Well, it's because it's because it has pieces on both sides. I don't know, maybe it's it's cool like that. I guess. Yeah, we can definitely take it off to roll it further. Pipe and move this tender. Yeah, a little bit. But we only have to do this. And then does this work? Oh, oh yeah. Oh shoot. Yeah. So once we move this, move like this pipe and rail and all that. Kind well, of thing. I think we should move it this way. Yeah. Is so it this in the way? It's just so that there's more space. What about this? But uh, Sydney can lift this up. We already tried to lift it up. Oh. Yeah. That'd be cool to go over this, though. You know? Both uh, ways. Yeah, that is a pretty nice stretch, though. Mm. Alright, let's go. Let's just the dumper one first. Okay. Off to new places. Let's see what's in here. Some drill steel to the left there. Oh, that looks like a big collapse, maybe. Oh, wow. There's a shovel head and a barrel. Don't find that too often. Another split? Oh my gosh. Another ore car. Oh, this one looks a little smaller, does it? No. Uh, I think so. And then this entire tunnel is full of ore core samples. Wow. All, all core boxes. sample boxes. Oh my goodness. And there's another riveted shovel in there. Wow. Do you know these things have brakes? Wow. I've never seen your ore car with brakes. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Got another roller here. Oh, it's beautiful. Now it's like another one. Oh, yeah. So that's two. Hey! <laughs> no way. We got another one. Oh, that's a. Actually, they're both side dumpers. I didn't realize that. Bro, how insane is yeah. this mine so far? That's four. Damn. We can push these two together. Do you guys see all the cores now? Yeah, dude, there's a ton. Oh my gosh. Millions of drill heads over here. Another roller. I was not expecting that. I can't unzip the roller. I'm going to need help with that. Holy crap. Oh, no. Oh, it's passable. Looks passable. It's just a failed ore shoot. Yeah, it's just a collapsed ore shoot. <laughs> just the full dynamite box. It's a giant atlas. Another box here too. That doesn't look super safe. I did. I did. Could be dynamite in that one, but it's not a giant box. Looks like a face is here. Oh, 
Uh, be careful of this one. There might, there could be dynamite in there, but I'm not 100% sure. Is that a dead end? Alright, let's see if we can push this. I don't want to take a piece of board sample. Oh! It's a little heavy. It's a wee bit heavy. It's cool to see it like this. Oh, okay, I guess not going anymore. Oh, yeah. uh, just oh, go, just go. They have a cave troll. <laughs> oh, it's hard to this part. We're gonna need to Try and push it back a little. Push it back and then go full forward. Oh yeah, you just needed like a turn. Nice. Alright, ready? Yep. It's not all that often that we find these rolling ore cars, but when we do, we gotta make sure that we have some fun with them. Apparently I can also never take enough photos of them. Now the ladder did keep going up, and Jareth was actually able to climb his way up that extra 50 feet, but he came back to report to us that there wasn't much up there worth recording for. So with that, it was time to head back down to the main haulage tunnel. Who would have known that there was that much stuff up there? That was a pleasant surprise, if I do say so. Oh yeah, I did see that stuff. Electric. Electricity. Power box. Alright, you go first. Sydney's doing us a kind favor and checking out this manway for us. This one's a little further closer to the portal than the one we just came down. We're probably three quarters of the way back to the main entrance and there is a little manway down here so it's actually my turn to go scout out a manway so I'm gonna go for this uh, I'll turn you guys back on when I get down there. All right, that was a pretty short climb. But, uh, I'm gonna check out this little level down here and see what's going on. Got a little bucket here. Uh, I think that ends. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna go up there, but let's check out the other way. I think uh, I think there's rail on the other side. Bro. Hey, watch out, Owen. Watch out, Owen. All right, it kind of ends that way, so I'm gonna go check out this way. That way? Yeah, back that way. Oh, that way. Yeah, let's check where the. Uh, okay, the we gotta be careful. This uh, is false a. Floor? This is all false floor. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. I can see their light up there. Oh, yeah. Like a full one? It's half. Whoa. <laughs> no. The hell is this? Hey, it's like locked out here, but I think we can squeeze through it. Owen, 
Yeah. Squeeze through it. Uh, I don't know, man. That's uh. Whoa, is that a stoke? Kinda. Uh, it looks like it. Does it keep going down? Yeah, it does. It goes down. Oh. All right, let's squeeze through this thing here. I'm hoping this isn't a deep hole. Oh, my ass. Oh my God. I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck. It's a, it's not a deadly drop. There's, I think that's an ore car tub. Keeps going down. I think this is actually, oh shit. The manway is uh, back intact. This is a kind of interesting. All right, so I just came back up. Um, it does look like this keeps on going, so off to the left here, it actually goes down again. Um, it's a little sketchy, so we'll have to save that for next trip out here. But. And we're back to where we started. So our rope should be right over here. There it is. And uh, climbing out. You can actually see the outside up there. Kind of. There are bars. Oh yeah, also that pillar. <laughs> Look at that. It's holding up this whole line. No, no, I'm just kidding. But uh, this was a pretty good explore. Two rolling cars, a bunch of little artifacts. Uh, huge ore cars, actually. Coming into this location, we knew nothing about this mine and the things we were going to find. And sometimes it's good to be surprised. Especially with a mine as big as this one, we got pretty lucky. But sometimes we don't get as lucky, and that's alright. Just being out here blowing freely with the desert wind is something I need to remind myself not to take for granted for. Guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. This was a trip for the books for sure. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. For as small as my channel is, it surely helps. And I'll see you guys at the next abandoned mine.